Hi, my name is Ozzy. I am founder and CEO of Cubanos ATL. So I'm here to talk to you about how to um, make the jump and start your own business or career move. I just turned 40 uh, and I went from finance, dressed in a suit the whole day to t-shirts and in going all around. And not only that, from a completely different background. I am not, and I was not in the restaurant business. I had zero knowledge of the restaurant business. No, I did have the entrepreneurial uh, of how, how to run a company, which I think it, it helped. I was able to get people. I was able to get a really good team that really, really helped, you know, helping me with the gaps that I was missing. Uh, and it can get extremely complicated, right? From not only the safety stuff, but the, how consistent you need to be. And this is, this is very, very uh, important to me because um, we find so many people that they don't know what to do or when to do it or the steps that you have to do to be able to do it. And, and I'm gonna keep things simple today, right? Uh, because sometimes we kind of overthink things too much and uh, we get that paralysis by analysis kind of deal that we don't do it because we're missing steps or we don't have this. So the most important thing that we all need to always, always be thinking about is that whatever jump or whatever career or whatever business we wanna do, it's because you're passionate about and it connects with you. It cannot be about money. If it's about money, you just got another job because you're really not passionate about it. You just make sense to make that jump because you're gonna get paid more and we all get it. We all done it. We all, you know, we need money, right? But you, we need to find that, that thing that really gives you passion when you wake up, when the bad days, which in the beginning of making that jump, you're gonna have a lot of bad days, right? And the only thing that's gonna make you come back is that passion that you can connect with. So, for example, for me, I was in finance and I, and I really loved finance. It was not that I was not excited. It's just, I always been in the entrepreneurial world and I always like to do that. And my connection is Cuban food, right? So I can kind of show everybody here uh, a little bit of that culture, of the Cuban culture, that the customer service, the, you know, my parents' recipe from, from how we cook the pork to how she makes the flan. Um, but always gives you that, that connection that I can always get back to. But it was a tough call because I had a really good job with really good people, with a really good company. And I had to make a big jump from knowing when you have a a check coming in every two weeks to, okay, well, let's see what happens. So that's, that's the most important thing from that aspect. Now that you have something that you are passionate about and that it, it, you really it, either always wanted to do it, um, you have to do just a little bit of research before making the jump, right? The idea is that whatever that you're trying to do, yes, you're passionate about it, but that it's also there's a market for it. You can be the best of something that nobody wants and sadly the business is not gonna work, right? So either the business or the career, you gotta make sure that it makes sense, that there's a need for it. So for us, there was a need, right? There was, a, when people saw it, when people um, learned about it and, 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 and tasted it and got the, cost, the difference in customer service, it, it just hit, right? It's extremely important that whatever you wanna do, just make sure that there's a need for it. If there's a need for it, Everything else is easy. I know I'm simplifying a lot of things. I know that there's way many other things that you need to do, right? From not only the business plan to investors, to all the new things that we really don't think about. We, when we get the uh, idea of opening a business, we always think about, oh, I'm just gonna be going to the office and I'm gonna be doing this and I'm gonna be doing that. You know, but you also wanna be able to make sure that, that you can, learn all the little things from not only opening the business to tax IDs to bank accounts and how to structure the company, which way is better. Do you have investors? Do you have partners? Uh, and, and that for me was the fun part, I, believe it or not. I know it makes sound weird, but I really do enjoy figuring it out. What was the best structure? Do I need to do an LLC? Do I need to do a, you know, files an S corporation or maybe a partnership? Um, and, and learning that can take a little bit of time, but it's, it's worth it because after that, then you can kind of, kind of start moving along. 
Now, when I say that is, uh, and many people do this, you wanna have all this knowledge, and again, going back to the original part of uh, not stopping you from actually taking the first step, which is making the jump, which is actually saying, this is important to me, I wanna do it, this is a market, and I'm gonna go ahead and make the jump for it. Not just, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and learn all these things first, I'm gonna get all the money, and I'm gonna then make the jump. A lot of these things, you're gonna figure them out when you get there. And actually that anxious, that, that anxious feeling, that um, at least for me is what really drives me, right? It, it's being organized and knowing that I have, I have to do this thing. I cannot just put them on the side and write them down. Uh, and especially in the beginning, right now it's easier. We got 21 employees, I got an office manager where they can make the calls. In the beginning, you, you're doing everything from doing the all the research to actually cooking to actually even covering if you need to cover in the restaurant. Uh, so th there's a lot of things that you have to go ahead and make that jump. So it doesn't matter if you're trying to open a hair salon, uh, do a painting company, uh, do a flooring company, or actually make, if you know, if, if the career that you are now, this, I don't think this just kind of pertains towards just entrepreneurs I mean if you want to make a jump if, if you are in finance and you wanted to be in in manufacturing um, just do it I mean even if you need to sacrifice money uh, in the beginning so you can kind of start getting the knowledge and maybe you need to get some licenses or something that you need to to learn just make it just just there's one thing that is it's so important and it's actually hard to kind of uh, I don't know, put it put a number on it. And it's it's that peace of mind and, and that, you know, when you have that in your heart that you're doing something that actually means something to you. And not just when you we get into this machine mode that you wake up at eight, you have to be there at eight thirty, you get a lunch at one, you get back at five, and then you do it again. Um, and don't get me wrong, for some people that's how they like it. They don't want the stress, they don't want the Every day is something new. They want to know what they know, and that's fine. And if that's what it is, go for it. But if it's not, it's when you have to act. I think, you know, especially lately, um, time, it's extremely important. And we don't even think how much time we waste or how much time we just don't, um, you know, we push things because we think we have, oh, I'm really young, I'm 19 years old. I can. I can, I can do this for now and I can make the decisions. Sure, it's, I, I don't think there's ever a wrong answer as long as you're totally connected to that answer. But you know, you'll be surprised how easy that 19 becomes 31 and then becomes 40. And then becomes, well, I'm, now I'm 40 years old. It's crazy for me to make a move. I love that. I love that I have to like now learn what our, what does prime cost means and and what are all these formulas that I should be having in, in our in our profit and loss and um, that we can kind of help in, in knowing to make sure that we're running the business the right way. And again, all of that, we made a bunch of mistakes. I mean, we made calls that we thought it was gonna be, it made sense, we sat down, we talked about it, everybody was on board and failed miserably. But those are the best ones. Those are the best ones because those are the ones that you really learn from. Uh, those are the ones that, especially if there's a monetary attachment to it, which when you're starting the business, many times you don't have a, uh, a tree, you know, pulling cash out. Do you have limited amount of money that you can use? Um, and that you have to make decisions that work. Or at least you have to make the majority of the decisions need to work because if not, it's gonna really hurt, right? Somebody's not getting paid. And a lot of the time, it's you. The business owner, you know, everybody else is gonna get paid, but you have to push it until the next three weeks. So it's, it's extremely important that whatever those things that happen that fail, that you learn from it. And that is, I think, the biggest thing and the biggest thing that I have, is that I, I can learn from the mistakes. I'm not that smart, but I can make from the mistakes and I can say, well, that didn't work, so, Let's not do that again. Um, which I think many people actually forget when time goes by, because for some reason there was, you know, some kind of connection and they want to try it again. And you just gotta be careful and make sure that you don't do the same thing or the same pattern that you did the first time. 
trial and error. I know that many of these things, it's not many helpful with actually steps, but it's, I think from a business owner, so making career, the biggest thing is actually the mental factor of being ready to make that decision and actually sticking to it. Doesn't matter where you come from, what you do, I came from a third world country where you don't have anything that prepares you to do this. There's no enterprises in Cuba until recently. So it's not even that you can kind of you know, follow your family steps and, and you can say, well, at least I can go to my uncle. He's, he's done it, let me learn, right? Um, we didn't have that. Uh, so I mentioned that it's because if I did it, anybody can. Right? It just takes a little bit of time. We have so many different tools. Again, my name is Ozzy Yanis from Cubanos ATL. Thank you so much for being part of this. And uh, go ahead and make the jump. <laughs>